Oh my god. <laughs> you get Woo! such an attitude when the camera turns on. Whatever. I don't care. Anyway. Anyways. We're walking Supai. Walking Supai right now. Yep. And um, then after that. What are we gonna do today? It's moving day. What does that mean? I'm moving all my stuff. To, to my place, to our place. Yep. Finally moving everything, so. Yeah. Nice, that'd be exciting. It's so exciting. All right, let's finish this walk and let's go move. Let's do it. I can't wait to live with you. Seriously. Peace out. All right, so this is the apartment I'm moving out of. Say hi. Hey. It's very small, but it's very cute. I'm really sad, but happy at the same time. Okay, I gotta ask you a question. Why do you love this place so much? You've only been here for less than a year. Because it's so cute, and I like tiny things, and it's just like this tiny little box that just, you know, it's my, it's my life, everything's in here. What does it represent to you, this place? Because you got this place when you were in some transformative times of your life. Yeah, so, I don't know. You, yeah, was it, it was like... freedom, it was independence, it was like a new start, a new beginning, it was, I finally had my own place because I lived with so many people and like, things that just went terribly, horribly wrong and was left on my ass and so this was like, the first thing that was mine, you know, with all my stuff and I gotta put the things that that I wanted in here, and so. So are we making a good decision together, living together? I think so. Are you making a good decision living with me? <clears throat> I hope so. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, babe. So what are you feeling right now? Why are you sad to leave this place? You've been here like what, like almost a year? Yeah. Why do you feel sad? Because it's sad to move out of a place that you lived like, you know, by yourself and with somebody else. It's a big, it's a big step. So, yeah. Are you excited for the step? I am, yeah, I'm excited. Got everything all moved out. Let's see what it looks like without all my stuff. Oh my gosh. It's so empty. It looks so small without all my stuff. Let's turn around here. This is the front door. Can't believe I lived in this little box.
It was such a cute little box. <laughs> Goodbye, tiny apartment. On to bigger and better things. Really, you can really see how small it is. <laughs> it looked a lot bigger when your stuff was in here. Yeah, I made it look cute. Yeah, totally. All right, bye bye, tiny apartment. My teeny tiny apartment. Teeny tiny box. You just. Emptying your cup so that you can fill it up with the adventures of Jake and Nicole. Yeah. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. Let's go on some adventures, babe. Let's do it. Love you. All right, guys, we're back here at home. We've been moving over Nicole's stuff because we're now officially living together. And then we went to the store to get some groceries. And I thought maybe people out there want to see what a couple of vegans uh, are getting at the store when they do like an impromptu last minute shopping trip. This is not like a week's worth of groceries, just like a couple of the essentials. And I thought you guys might want to see. So one is, I always like getting things on sale. My friend Seamus O'Leary, he always tells me that he was taught that if something's on sale, buy it all because you'll save money in the long run. So they had Lara bars today on sale for 88 cents a piece. And then I used my extreme vegan powers to sense that I would also get 10% extra off if I bought the box. So in addition to 88 cents a piece, additional 10% off for buying the whole box. I got a couple of pineapples and I just think that when pineapples are on sale for like a dollar something, get a couple because they're delicious. I'm an addict on cereal. Cereal is like my drug, so I've got some chocolatey vegan cereal. Is that like little kid cereal? It's a man's cereal. No, let's check this out. Mom's best cereal. Why does it say that? Oh my gosh, for kids. I didn't see it says that on it. I just saw that it's got an animal? A llama on there and I like llamas. <laughs> oh babe. No high fructose corn syrup, no partially hydrogenated oil, no artificial flavors or preservatives. It says, for men who love their moms. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I love cereal, so this is like a treat cereal. But then, this is the cereal I always end up getting because I've been buying this cereal from Nature's Path for like a decade, and it's always, it always costs like four something, but it's always on sale for two something, so I always buy it. And then I have an addiction to raisins, so I always buy raisins. I love raisins a lot. <laughs> okay, so we've got avocados. These are 88 cents a piece, and they're small little ones, but they have small pits inside of them. This one was three for five dollars. It's a big one, but it probably has a larger pit. So I just want to show you guys how sometimes I'll get the smaller, cheaper ones, and then the bigger who, ones. Who told you about the small pits? Um, my amazing girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I also get one that's ripe right now, and then ones that are not ripe so they can ripen up later. That way you have an avocado now, and avocados for later. <laughs> Nicole's making her raw dinner. This smells really good, what's inside here? Um, so we have um, some pine nuts, we have celery, avocado, and some mint leaves. We also have hemp seed and flax seed in there, and I'm gonna blend it up, and then I'm gonna put it over some um, zucchini pasta. You're gonna take your spiralizer and make the zucchini in the pasta. Yes. Wow. I'll show you the end result later in the video. And then uh, I have one more question. What is this? That's um, a raw chocolate Nelly's bar. This is a raw cho German chocolate bar. The ingredients are raw pecans, raw almonds, raw brown rice syrup, raw shredded coconut, raw blue agave, raw coconut oil, raw cocoa butter, raw coconut cacao powder, raw peanut butter, raw vanilla beans, pink lemon oh salt. Oh my gosh. This looks delicious. It was so good. How was it? It was so good. I'm really sad it was gone. I'm sad it was gone too. I really enjoyed not having any of it. <laughs> I'm Thanks sorry. For sharing. I just like I looked down and it disappeared so fast and then you're like, can I have a bite? And I was like, oh. It just happened so fast. <clears throat> I'm really bad at eating things and not sharing, so. Yeah. I, I share a lot though. Sometimes. What else did you give me? Field roast. 
brats. I love these spicy ones and the apple ones. There's no soy in these. They're really good. Follow Your Heart had a deal on their cheese shreds, which I'm gonna put on vegan hot dogs tonight. I've got another cereal. This Kashi is like organic, healthy grape nuts. I'm gonna put raisins in there and eat that. And then I love this uh, brand, this Khalifa brand of almond milk is the bomb. But it's kind of a sham because you get this thing, you think it's like a, uh, a half gallon, 64 ounces, but it's not because the shape of the bottle is only 48 ounces. So I would definitely not get this at Whole Foods. It's way expensive. And a lot of times Sprouts has a deal. So today is a deal for like two or three something. So I bought a couple and last week it was a crazy deal. So I bought like 20 of them. That's it, you guys. Simple stuff. And then, of course, Nicole and I will go to the farmer's market probably this Saturday and get all of our produce for the week. Yes. Hey, we're living together now. Yep. How do you feel about that? I feel all right. You're exhausted today from yoga. Yes, I am exhausted. You did four hours of yoga this morning, and then we did a yoga class together. Four and a half hours this morning. And one hour tonight. An hour and 30 minutes tonight. Okay, go have a bath. Yeah, and moving stuff. Okay guys, this is what my dinner turned out to look like. It's just zucchini um, pasta with like a mint avocado sauce. So very tasty, yummy. All right guys, and my dinner is the vegan field roast hot dogs with sauerkraut, purple cabbage, ketchup, mustard, and vegetarian, vegan, refried black beans. And I got a bowl full of avocado with purple cabbage, cayenne pepper, pepper, pink salt, and sea kelp. Go vegan. <laughs>